and support begins in three, two, one. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Nurture and Support, a recommendation podcast sharing all the awesome since 2013. I'm Kelly Tool at K-E-L-L-Y-T-H-U-L on Twitter. And with me, as always, advancing no particular directive at this particular time is Mel. I might have to backslide today on that directive thing, but I'm Mel at Karmic9 on Twitter and uh, lots of other places. And it's great to be back for another week of Nurture and Support, sharing all the awesome. Yeehaw! So, super excited uh, timing-wise today, because my recommendation is a show that airs tonight, uh, which is Z Nation. Now, Mel and I have talked about Z Nation and our affection for it, I think, in a number of shows. But it begins its second season on September 11th, and uh, wanted to make sure on Sci-Fi, and wanted to make sure everybody was uh, aware and tuned into it. Since I'm sure everybody's Friday, their first step is I download, nurture, and support, and listen to it. So we're just giving you a guide for the day. Say, so don't forget tonight, Z Nation is on. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Z Nation, it's I'm going to say Walking Dead meets Sharknado. <laughs> I think that's, that's pretty good. pretty close. Yeah. It uh it has and so many firsts in Z Nation in the first season. If you haven't seen it, it's all available on Netflix and you need to catch up on it. Uh it uh, has zombies being taken out by the Liberty Bell, which is pretty cool. It has Amish zombies, which I I don't think I've ever seen Amish zombies before. Can't recall. Uh we had I think glow in the dark zombies <laughs> and uh Boy, there was one other go. Oh, well, a because it is uh, on Sci-Fi, and there's a reason I said it was the hybrid of Walking Dead and Sharknado because there is one episode with a zombie NATO, which again is pretty awesome stuff. So yes, our plucky little crew, plucky little crew is down uh, from first season a little bit. Won't go into much detail on that, but you will see a really fun cast of characters, including Doc who's played by Russell Hodgkinson, who, do you know him from anything else? He's he a really familiar so face. familiar, but I haven't looked him up to see what else he's been in, but he's got to have been in stuff, because, I mean, he, he looks so familiar to me. Yeah, crotchety old man guy. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, he's Doc is awesome and funny and uh, knows his pharmaceuticals, so which is kind yes. of fun. A young, a young kid named 10K is played by Nat Zhang whose uh, objective is to kill 10,000 zombies, hence his nickname 10K. There's Warren, who's kind of a get-it-done uh, lady, kind of with some military background, leads a group, and Cassandra, who kind of joined the group along with there. Uh, but most importantly of our crew, there's Murphy, played by Keith Allen. Team Murphy here, been Team Murphy uh, since, since the beginning. He's a rascal. He was a prisoner. He got bit by zombies in an experiment. He appears to be immune. He's the guy that's going to get to California and save her. they got to get him to California to save everyone. When last we saw, so spoilers, if you're not caught all the way up on season one, you're about to be. When we last left our intrepid crew, there were nuclear missiles bearing down on them, very within, within vision. You could see them, so I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen there. And Murphy had bugged out and uh, was uh, peeling off large sections of his skin. <laughs> yes, he felt the need to get naked before he left. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and like, if that wasn't enough, like, okay, to close her off, I think the next layer of skin needs to come off. So it, yes. was, it was a little bit whatever uh, from there. But he appears to be blue this season <laughs> from the yes. previews I've seen. He's got a kind of a nice kind of Smurf-like hue to him. But yes. he's he is uh, just the smart, most smart alecky unpleasant but funny guy you've ever seen so he's he's kind of fun yes. and we get and then the awesome DJ Qualls is also involved as Citizen Z who's in some bunker on a radio station kind of keeping track of folks and so it's really fun stuff if you like zombie stuff you get zombie stuff you get a lot of uh the over the top kind of sci-fi things but but it doesn't feel too um uh, too forced 
And there is actually kind of a dramatic element to it. I mean, there's, the story does move along, and there is a storyline. It's not just all one gag to the next. Oh, they love their gags, and they, they definitely work them in. So uh, super excited to see what they did. They really, every episode, there was kind of a special thing, except one episode that I think neither Mel or I are big fans of. Yes. Um, every episode, they kind of came up with something big and fun, uh, but not to the expense of the plot. You still get a nice storyline moving along. They're likable characters. They're all pretty fun. There's no Andrea in this group, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, and so it's kind of cool. You're rooting for them, and and how can you not root for Murphy? So uh, so that will be uh, that will be my recommendation. So you know, on your Friday to do list, download download Nurture and Support. Listen to Nurture and Support. Write an iTunes review of Nurture and Support, and then catch Z Nation after that hard day's work. Yeah. Um. And for any of you out there that heard the reference to Sharknado and went, oh, God, no. Um, it's way better than Sharknado. I am not a Sharknado fan. But that whole, you know, that whole B sci-fi movie element is very much present in that show, which Craig Engler is one of the writers of Z Nation. And he used to be Mr. Sci-Fi on Twitter, but he left that to do all of this. So. It definitely has that element to it. It's a great show. And it's it's zombies, fun, and with the story that you care about. But it's not always, you know, depressing like some other shows kind of got. <laughs> not naming so, names. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, it's a great show. Totally behind Kelly's recommendation here. Love that show. And I'm glad he brought it up because I haven't been watching TV lately. And I would have missed it. There you go. So... Just in case all of you who listen to the show <laughs> maybe should remind me before it comes on on Twitter so that I will actually remember to turn the TV on. That would be great. I would appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. That's so, really what we do this show for is to kind of put reminders out there. Hey, can everybody remind us about this or that? Yeah, that, that's really. Um, and I also think I think we may have mentioned my recommendation before in the past. I think, but I, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's never been an actual recommendation. But there is a movie that really should should have been put on Sci-Fi. And to my knowledge, it's never aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. It's called Space Milkshake, and it was made in 2012. It has an amazing cast. It is, and this is high praise for me, y'all. I am going to put this movie up there, almost as enjoyable. As big ass spider. Wow, that's big. That's high, that's high big. praise from me, because I love big ass spider. That that was one of the best sci-fi movies ever, and it's so fun. There's not as much action in this movie, but you have to give it points for the humor that it has in there. is very smart. A um, lot of callbacks to Aliens, which always gets a high praise from me. So, everybody who is a fan of the Sci-Fi Channel will recognize the cast of this movie. Amanda Tapping plays a character named Valentina. Um, she's from Stargate, from Sanctuary, all of that. Her co-star in Sanctuary, Robin Dunn, is also plays a char character named Jimmy. Billy Boyd plays Captain Anton of this little space station. If you don't recognize the name Billy Boyd, I'm sure you will recognize the name Pippin from Lord of the Rings. And finally, I, and I know I'm, I'm always pronouncing her name wrong, Kristen Crook from Smallville. I don't know if I actually ever pronounced that properly, but she plays a character named Tilda. And the premise of this movie is it's the future. We space travel. And like we tend to do, we leave trash everywhere. And we have trashed up space so badly that we have now had to install sanitation stations in space to zap the garbage to clear the shipping lanes so they don't wreck the spaceships traveling to and from Earth. So this movie takes place on one of these stations orbiting Earth, and all of the cast are basically space janitors. They are crew on this station, and they're not astronauts. They're not very smart. They're janitors, basically. Their job is to run the space station 
and zap floating space trash. So janitors with lasers, though. They so do have a laser. That's an upgrade. Yeah. Yes. So that's cool and might make being a janitor worth it. So totally awesome. Um, what happens is, <laughs> call back to Jurassic Park at the very beginning of the movie, somebody is stealing something from a research facility, much like when, you know, the little dinosaur embryos got stolen in Jurassic Park and he's making a break for the gate and something goes wrong. So you have a call back to that movie. Turns out it is a interdimensional time traveling little device. And it starts immediately causing problems because the little, the little um, space shuttle that it's kind of on uh, head straight for the sanitation station. And the rest of it is what basically makes up the story of their, their, their fight to basically save our dimension because this little device has been activated and zaps the entire station to an alternate dimension where there are no humans on Earth. They're still orbiting Earth, but there's nobody alive on Earth. They're it. So the villain of this movie is a little unique. It's a rubber ducky named Gary, and it's hilarious. <laughs> so um, I don't, I don't want to give too much of the plot away. It, you'll really love this movie. It's highly, highly enjoyable. A lot of callbacks to a lot of other nerdish type movies that we've all seen. Um, Amanda Tapping's character is just great in this movie to see to see her doing this kind of humor was really really fun and billy boyd is crazy <laughs> as the as the power mad sort of captain of this station the the ai for the station will come on and give them these warnings all the time it's it's two minutes to do lunch and he doesn't care what crisis they're in the middle of you must maintain a schedule so they have to go to lunch and incidentally, the food dispenser is only dispensing sandwiches. <laughs> and it's making some rather creative sandwiches as well. So they're hungry. But um, one of their little two-minute warnings is to play Scrabble in the middle of this crisis. And he insists they have to play Scrabble. So it's fun. Um, I really liked it. The Gary the Rubber Ducky. Uh, I didn't mention who voices the Rubber Ducky. That would be George Takai. <laughs> and it's great. So um, who's funny? Who can say, could read a phone book and be funny? Yes. Just his, his delivery and voice. Um, yes. Such an awesome voice. Yes. So it's it's really, it's a really fun movie. Um, I can't believe I didn't watch it before. It's actually, and, and here's where my callback to, you know, the Prime Directive going in here. Uh -huh. It is available for free on Amazon for Prime members to watch. So that's a big plus. Um, however, it's not up on Netflix. Uh, it's really not up, I don't think, anywhere else. I did not check iTunes. But you can go to their website, spacemilkshake.com, and you can buy the digital download. It looks like for $8. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if that's 8 U.S. or 8, U 8 Canadian. I didn't progress that far into it. So, um, and I'm sure that you can probably buy or rent it off of Amazon since it is available um, on instant video there, free for Prime members. So, it's great fun. Um, if you're missing a good sci-fi movie lately, as, as many in our little group do, I know I do, this is a good substitute. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the rubber ducky starts to mutate. <laughs> Not want to give it away. Yeah, if furrowed brows made a noise the first time Mel mentioned that the villain was a rubber ducky, you'd have heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, it's, I, yeah, that's amazing. It's it's great fun. Um, I'm not gonna put it over Big Ass Spider because Big Ass Spider is totally awesome. But let I, I've got to tell you there there's a line, and I think you'll like this line. Amanda Tapping is chewing out the captain of the space station who is also her boyfriend and she is um, commenting on his bathroom habits and this is a line a line that you'll never forget once you hear it's like you're passing a death star out your ass nice <laughs> that was and that was a dramatic reading too <laughs> yes 
We should make that a ringtone. <laughs> but those ringtone sites, those ringtone episodes seem to do well. Yeah. So it, it's a great movie. It's got a lot of good lines in it. It's fun. I have to say, I've never been a huge Kristen Crook fan. Um, wasn't a big fan of Smallville and that new Beast show. I, I don't watch that one either. But I have totally a lot more respect for her now that she's done one of these kind of movies yep. and doing something serious, which is, you know, just the way my weird brain works. But it's fun. It's good. And I think everybody would enjoy it. So go check it out. Unfortunately, I wish it was up on Netflix, but it's not. So I've queued, I have had it queued on Amazon for a long time, but I just recently got around to watching it and it was great. Excellent. That, that sounds awesome. So I'll have to figure, uh, I'll either do the Amazon thing or something. But You uh, can buy I've it directly it. from their website yeah, if you don't probably, want to. Yeah, and, and I'm going to tell y'all, folks, I would have paid $8 for this. Now, your mileage may vary, but I would have paid $8 to see this. <laughs> It's fun. It'd be even better in the big screen, but that's okay. It's like two and a half troll twos. I think it's, I think it's worth that. <laughs> so. I think so. Absolutely. Excellent. Cool. Well, that'll be that'll be fun. So I will. I'll have to. I'll, I'll look at my options here, but I think I may go direct to the site. Okay. Social media recommendations. Now, Mel and I were chatting before we started recording today, and I was like, you know, I know we've talked about Z Nation. Have we ever formally recommended it? And I checked our extensive records, and it does not appear it was ever a formal recommendation, even though we've talked about it. We're playing around. Sh Sean Schick is doing some things with a spreadsheet. I'm doing some things with a spreadsheet. We'll eventually have kind of a nice sortable list of everything you've heard on Nurture and Support so you to fiddle with to your heart's content. Uh, that'll be coming soon. So I don't know how these will show up. So I, I have recommended... This is social media recommendations of people I've recommended before... But their Twitter handles have changed, so I just thought I'd yeah. kind of catch us up a little bit. And uh, the the most important one is uh, Keith Allen, who plays Murphy in Z Nation. So, and I believe it was last show or recently, I bared mm -hmm. my soul that you know his Twitter handle was Keith Allen, two A's in there, A L L A N. Keith Allen actor was uh, his Twitter handle, and briefly, and it was only briefly, I thought his name was Keith. Alan Actor <laughs> from the <laughs> from the Dutch Alan Actors, yes. Uh, and uh, but he I don't know if it was because of that or whatever, but he is now Keith Allen Duh D U H, <laughs> and uh, and I so Amy Glitters, who's the also the uh, other correction that we need to make. Amy Glitters used to be I think Amy underscore Glitters or maybe Amy Glitters with no underscore at all. Uh, mm -hmm. She is now Amy A M Y capital E underscore Glitters. Uh, on Twitter, so wanted to update her her Twitter account as well. She called me out because I had responded back. She's a, another very big Z Nation fan, a uh, big member of Team Murphy, and I was saying, hey, pretty fired up for it. I said, yes, and when I responded back, I typed the old Keith Allen actor, and she got back to me and said, get with the times. He's Keith Allen, duh, now. <laughs> I I thought she was just mocking me for my confusion on the last name, but then Mr. Allen chimed in. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, Kelly, get with the program." <laughs> I was Aww. like, All right, "Ouch!" But uh, so it is indeed. He did think it was funny that I thought it was his last name was Allen Actor, though. So, um, but he's now Keith Allen Duh, and Amy Glitters is now Amy E Glitters, and so those so updated social media recommendations probably separate rows in the spreadsheet, but you'll all deal with it. Yes, they will. And my social media recommendation this week is what Kelly just said. There you go. You, you can have Amy. I'll take Keith. You can have Amy. There you go. So Mel is, Mel's doing the Amy correction, and I'll do Keith. There we go. That works for me. Uh, so uh, we now like to hand it over to the unsung hero of nurture and support, a tremendously valued individual, a man we all hold tremendous amount of respect for. We'd like to have Mr. Matt Shivers share with you all the different ways available at, uh, is it Matt Shivers VO? Is yes. That? Matt That's Shivers his Twitter video. handle. That's his yeah. Twitter handle. Be sure and check him out. And he's going to give you all the information so that you can complete your to-do list and do that iTunes review on where you can get to nurture and support on iTunes, Stitcher, the blog, YouTube, all those good things and, and websites. So he will give you all those things perfectly. He'll deliver it perfectly, clearly, and articulately. He's a noble, noble man, that Matt. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, Matt. We love you. Yeah. And thanks, everybody, for listening.
You can contact us on our website, nurtureandsupport.net, or email us at nurtandsup at gmail.com. That's N-U-R-T-A-N-D-S-U-P-P at gmail.com. Or tweet us at Nurt and Sup on Twitter. You can also catch Nurture and Support on YouTube. Just search Nurture and Support or Kelly Tool. Nurturing and supporting. Terminated.